Coming up on 516, what a Tuesday we have in store for you. We can get a break from the rain. No rain on the weather deck right now, but. You got 20 seconds. Right, oh, I'm scared. Oh, hey, Mike. Wow. You make a good point. It's, you know, Rob's here, stormy, humid. Justin's here, sunny, nice. Yeah, man. I'm not nice. saying anything, but, <laughs> but just saying. Are. Someone in here gave a fist pump. So you got the fist pump. Got the fist pump, or, or right. the, Yeah. That's better than the fists aimed at me. You know. <laughs> right, you don't want that. Or part of the fist coming up, which I'm sure you've gotten sometimes too. Right? Yeah, it was a long winter, put it that way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Any sports through varsity right. or, you know, if you're part of any club for four years, to get to that final year yes. sure. when you are going to be at the top, you know, you're going to be a team leader. You're going to, all the attention is going to be on you and just to have it taken away like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got to be crushing. Get a light east wind here. We can back the camera out just a little bit. A light east wind. Mm-hmm. You can see that fog is pretty right. much just going to spill over right into downtown. He actually went on the slide yesterday, first oh, time ever. Oh, your son? Really? Yep. Oh, that Because I was here and didn't get to see it. Is he still going to tear up? <laughs> <laughs> it's the cold. Working parent moment. This is recently out at the State Fair, and this was the football game, The right? football toss, the only game that I can win at. Uh, two years ago, I was on Real Milwaukee. I had a big stuffed dog. That was just before Xander was born. Uh, this year came back, took me a few more tries to get the football <laughs> through the star this time. I discovered very difficult to actually throw a football immediately after applying sunscreen to your, yeah. to your kid. Oh. It's a little hazy out here, but uh -huh, it's, it's not due why. to the clouds at all. Do you remember yesterday when I said it is absolutely gorgeous, we should have a barbecue out here? Ask and you shall receive. By the way, do you guys have your standard issue Fox 6 hat? <laughs> yes, I Somewhere. do. It's in my, my desk. desk. Yeah. Didn't, didn't put it away for this season. You guys are smart. We love a babysitter for yeah. a couple days. Your mom would love <laughs> he's, it too. He's all yours, Ted. Take, <laughs> take him Wait, for let, a night. Let me think about this. Amy, we're going to dinner. <laughs> and you can see how quickly that line came racing through here at times. It did have a little bit of rotation. Over 400 reports of severe weather yesterday, including softball sized hail and 100 mile per hour winds. The fog lingering through a good portion of the morning before night. 9 o'clock, a lot of the inland counties were under a dense fog advisory. That advisory has since expired about two hours ago. And well, since then, we've actually seen some sunshine coming back as we are getting some of those temps into the 70s right now. Not the case at Milwaukee Jewish Day School in Whitefish Bay. Of course, they started out with the fog, but a little bit cooler right now at 66. And that'll probably be a trend this afternoon where lakeside areas maybe get to the low and middle 70s this afternoon with the inland areas looking much warmer than that. Let's get over to our temperature trend the next couple of days, though. Now, as our average high, of course, we're into the middle and later parts of August now over the next six days. As our average high dips from 79 to 78 degrees, our actual temperatures, at least according to the forecast, looking a little bit better each day for the most part here. Some ups and downs the next couple of days and then actually looking at some middle 80s late in the week. I think Friday and Saturday we'll get a good push of some warmer air coming in from the south and west. If that push entirely makes it here, can actually see temps higher than this, but there's a lot of questions with your temperatures over the next couple of days because of those rain chances. Of course, the cloudy, uh, rainier days are going to help to take that temperature down. Won't really feel much cooler, though, with the humidity. Now, in terms of where we could see severe weather today, it is not over southeastern Wisconsin, at least our risk very, very low, but a decent risk of strong and severe storms across far western Wisconsin, southeastern Minnesota, into northeastern Iowa. And these same areas could see some very heavy rains, maybe even leading to some flash flooding, like we saw south and east of the Twin Cities yesterday. Well, it's been pretty active this morning across northeast Wisconsin. You can see that sh uh, the showers and storms just barely missing our area, almost coming into Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, but so far things have remained dry this morning. But here's what's expected to happen this afternoon. We get this warm front pushing through again with an increase in heat and humidity. Temps into the upper 70s today, about normal, but a, a big increase over what we had with those 60s yesterday. Now with this frontal system sitting right over us tonight and even into Tuesday, we'll have those rain chances. So showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon and evening. Continuing on and off overnight and even into the daytime hours on Tuesday, it looks like the best chance of some dry weather returning Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Other than that, the uh, work week ahead looking very, very active. You can check it out now on your Sky Vision forecast, our tool for looking at tomorrow's weather today. And here we are at about 2 o'clock, looking at probably more clouds and sunshine at this time. But, you know, the next couple of hours, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, we'll definitely see some breaks in the clouds to help to boost those temperatures. The late afternoon and evening hours, that's when we expect those showers and thunderstorms to develop, probably starting north and west of Milwaukee first near Juneau and Fond du Lac and Ripon and so forth. And then 8, 9, 10 o'clock, a better chance of seeing some of those showers and storms through the metro area. But it doesn't end there. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, we could see round 2 or maybe round 3 of these storms. They will be scattered. 
And again, while the severe weather chances are low, the chance of flooding is there as we definitely could see some heavier downpours out of these storms. They're not expected to be quick moving either, so a heavy downpour could be sitting over the same spot for some time. Looks like we get a break from the rain here early Tuesday, but more of those showers and storms, like I said, expected to redevelop in the afternoon. All right, for today, 78 thunderstorms developing later and later in the afternoon. Evening hours will give us our best chance here. Humid all day long, though. 65 overnight. Like I said, those scattered showers and storms continuing. Six-day forecast, 82 for your Tuesday and 78 on Wednesday. But, Kim, you can see those temps looking more like July than late August here. And with the humidity, it'll be feeling even warmer.